Hey guys, so a subscriber told me to look up Heather Ann Lacey. She's been missing since 2013. She's a mom of two, and her body was just found in a warehouse freezer. And People Magazine has an article about it, and I'm going to read it. The body of a Florida woman missing for nearly six years has been found in an upright freezer that wound up in a warehouse of a scrap business, leaving authorities to investigate who put her there and how she died. Heather Ann Lacey was 30 years old when she was last seen on November 21, 2013, according to the Charlie Project, which tracks cold case missing persons cases. In March, Lillian Argetuff found Lacey's body when she opened the freezer that had been delivered to her business in Margate from an apartment in Hollywood, Florida. I thought it was a witch or a mannequin, she told the newspaper, explaining that she screamed. I thought it couldn't be a person, but there was a bad odor. Argata said the business that she owns with her husband had acquired the discarded and unopened freezer to be used for scrap. Lacey had a history of using uh, drugs and was last spotted in an area on Deerfield Beach, according to the Charlie Project, which notes that many law enforcement agencies list the date of her disappearance as June 10, 2013. She was a mother of two whose family said her descent into addiction began with painkillers after a difficult cesarean section surgery during the birth of one of her children. Arrests for drug possession and prostitution followed, and she served time in prison for conviction of forgery and identity theft. Uh, her mother says she was very smart and had a lot going for her, and unfortunately, her downfall was getting into drugs, doing drugs, and being addicted. It, w it just put us in a cycle that led us here, Patty Palumbo. Um, stated before it turned into before it was turned into the scrap warehouse the freezer had been located in the hollywood apartment of a man who had been found dead in that apartment last february jonathan s Carzaga, 36, was discovered dead in his apartment February 17th after a neighbor complained of a foul odor. But the decomposition of his body prevented the medical examiner from determining his cause of death. The building manager who had the apartment cleaned out said he didn't know how long the freezer had been inside. He had an appliance refurbishing company remove the appliances and the freezer later wound up at the warehouse of the scrap company owned by Argeta and her husband, Pedro Rodriguez. Lacey's family members said they do not know Escazarga and the police have not publicly revealed any connection between the two, reports the Sun Centennial. The discovery, nonetheless, ends Lacey's family's hopes for a different outcome. They've taken care over Lacey's children and, despite her struggles, had kept in regular touch with her until she disappeared. And I didn't realize how much grieving I had to start doing, uh, said Lacey's mom. Now it hits home. It's opened all up again. I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Thank you, Harley, a.k.a. Nat, for sharing this story with me. It's a very sad, tragic story. Sometimes I feel like these missing uh, people that have drug addiction or have had drug addiction in their past, uh, it just doesn't seem to make headlines uh, like the other people, you know, that have this seemingly perfect life. Um, but drug addicts have feelings too. They have families that love them as well. It just seems like the news don't make a big fuss over them if they have addiction. That's just my opinion. Leave me your thoughts and opinions below and let's say a prayer for her family. They're going through a lot. Um, now they're going to have to start grieving all over again, just like her mother said. Bye guys.